Hello Canyon School District. I'm going to talk about how you use the comment library feature in SpeedGrader. So I have one of our ed tech courses that we'll use to uh, demonstrate the how this works. And I'll borrow Sue Wiggins. She's someone I know and hope I don't mind using her as an example. So you have someone that's submitted an assignment. You go through and grade it. You use the rubric, but then you want to leave feedback. And these assignment comments. This is where the comment bank works. You'll see it right here. It, you have all the comments right here. You can add something. And then when you do that, you can just add it to the library. And then that comment is added. So you can say, you can click on there and it's ready to submit. The other thing it will do, and I'll just delete this comment really quickly, is that it will auto search if you give it permission to. You'll notice at the top it says so show suggestions when typing. What you would do here is you would just start typing the comment that you have saved, and you'll notice that it will pop up and say, do you, you know, give you a list of choices of multiple comments that match the criteria you look. You can submit it that way. It's that easy to use, but can be a time saver. The other thing that you can do is you can go through and delete comments that you aren't going to use anymore. And you can also go in and edit comments. So if there's a comment that you've used to say, you know what, I actually want to say something else, you can edit that comment as well. Um, the other thing to note with the comment library is this is not course limited. This will work across all of your courses that you are a teacher when you use SpeedGrader. So it has that advantage of being able to work on multiple courses and multiple subjects. I hope this is helpful for you and uh, have a great day.